All right, that's fair. So we got to escort the. So everyone's time possesses the decimators, but she has no way to utilize them. The facilities should provide her with the means to bring them online. Harris Prime is a Wookiee engineering and research colony. It's here they developed them. Tom must escort the data droid, capture a narrative prime to the Wookiee facilities in order to unlock the codes. Do not allow the droid to die. A security measure, comm tower that's capable of long range. Destroy the tower, escort. They must live. Wookiee colonies are primarily to the north and south. They are unprepared for a quick attack. Wookiee colonies are likely to be nearby. Transmitter tower to the Time east. Time is so. of the essence, Severance. You must escort the data droid to the decimator facilities and decipher the codes it carries. There are Wookiee camps throughout Alaris Prime. You must be cautious. I won't fail you, Count Dooku. Yeah. Sounds like according to this guide, as you get part way through the mission, uh, air attacks are going to be coming in. Oh. They shouldn't be a problem. Those outposts are a good distance away. Okay, so I don't actually have a way to get across the water, and I don't have builder droids. Oh no, I, I do have workers to build up a base here. So actually, water is viable. I'm just making this new group of Simons because I honestly don't expect. I'm pretty. I wouldn't be surprised if there's actually no way to. Um, if there's no actual land bridge to get over here. Oh! Well, I just found transport ships. <laughs> Literally just sitting three feet below the base. Alright, spread out. Let's find this damn transport. Or this damn transmitter tower. Yeah. Got to be here wait. somewhere. Go back to where those uh, transports were real quick over there. Yeah. Just go up just a... Oh, wait, no, that looked like a... I thought that that ore um, source to the right over there... Mm -hmm. I thought that thing was like an ore tower. <sighs> that would be amazing. Could always use more ore. More ore. Whoa, here's a blasted out base. Oh, I That's think I get... The, uh, I, I, Ten bucks says that that's supposed to be part of the uh, uh, tutorial stuff. Yeah, that the Wookiees ravaged through ten plus years ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we've got a bunch of sentry posts on this side of the room. Aha! Well, I found Liamnetichuk. Whoa. Oh, there's the tower. Alright, I found the Wookiee transmission tower. Man, it's not very often where I get to be in combat with two different groups at once. I mean, except for those times where, like, there's, like, multiple bases, like, last mission, but still. How often does that actually happen? Rorark? Wait, who's this? Who's the other guy I just defeated? I mean, I killed the transmitter guards, but this was Liatichuk or something up here. Liamnachitach? Puppetach? Puppetuppetuppetach? Puppetuppetach? Double Dutch? What? Double Dutch? <laughs> what else is up here? Oh my god. They had a lot of stuff. This is a sizable base. But I like how the transmitter is just sitting out in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> oh, what is this? Yeah, this is more of the overgrown stuff. Yeah. That's really neat. That's a nice little detail. And I, I like how they added, like, like plants on it. It's not like it's just there. It's like, no, there's actual, like, overgrowth. Yeah. I'm almost done scouting this secondary island. Oh, I left that alive? What is wrong with me? Keep advancing west. Simons. Oh, wow. Is this really it? Is this all I can reach without transports? Oh, my God. All right, scary people. Move them out. Yeah. Do 
Ligida. Nick, do you do Ligida? Yeah. Do Ligida. Do you Ligida? Hi, Ligida. <laughs> Jesus, do, this is so stupid. Do Ligida, Ligida, Luda Day. Alright, so let's see if there's a landmass that's connected. Okay, so it looks like all the land outside of your starting island is connected to each other. Floor it up there. Alright, so these Simons are going to advance westward towards this land bridge. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah. Alright. Alright, scary people. Keep navigating. Oh. Hey, Wookiees. It's Rorororumprump. Rorororororor. Oh, you know what I should do? I should get Severance and the droid onto a transport ship for later. Yeah, that'd These probably be a pretty in. good idea. They're building a research center. Too bad they're being slaughtered. They look like they're at about tech level 2. And you can actually tell what- I don't know if I've mentioned this before, and I legitimately don't know. Uh, you can tell what tech level someone is by the designs of their buildings. Um, their buildings advance in design as tech then. level changes. Like, yeah. their command center probably looks- because I think that's- actually, you have to be tech level 2 to get research centers. They are at least 2. Um, possibly 3, because I think you have to be 3 to get airfield. But on 4, Wookiee Command Center has this big, like, glowing blue eye thing, actually. So I, that's why I know at the very least that that was not tech level 4. Public. That mind. was... That is a nice touch, and... Also, you could go into the diplomacy menu to find out, too. Yeah. Wow, there's a... There are 5 Wookiee clans. Although the red one, I think, was just scouts. Transmitter guards, and then Republic Army. Jeez, this is a lot of factions on this map. There are not usually this many. What is that little patch of water? You see that? Yeah? It's like this little discolored patch. It's like animated. The fuck? These little animated patches of water that aren't fishing spots. That's so weird. Alright, so come down here, because clearly you're not supposed to head to the northern land. You must you must have to find the Republic Army base. That's probably where the droid needs to be taken. Yeah. Alright, you guys head down this river. Yeah, there's Rook Roar Rook. Roar, Roar. Oh, hello. Hello, Wookie Base. Welcome to die. Yeah, it's also not a tech level 3 command center. They're probably tech level 3 because we're 2. So, in most levels where you can build a base, you can go up a tech level. So, I'm going to guess that they're at 3 because they usually start out above us. Yeah. When you pulled up the diplomacy screen, it looked like the Republic was at Tech 4, Wooks were at Tech oh, yeah, 3, and you check. were at yeah. Tech 2. Yep, I was right. All the Wookiees. Here's another Wookiee clan. We can snipe from the river. Public army must be in there. Sure do have a lot of Wookiee clans to support him, though. Jeez. Oh yeah, Republic. What are you doing, huh? Yeah, Chendrol. Get wrecked, Chendrol. Oh, these guys actually killed the command center. Wow. I'm kind of amazed. Come on, get him. Get him! Why is this so hard? And that guy's booking it. Those Jeez. blasters couldn't hit him. Fucking idiots. Uh, shooting is hard. Who knows how to lead, I mean. <laughs> Not shooting where he is right now? That's a challenge, man. I don't know about to that. <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> I'm not a med- I'm not a magician over here, okay? 
I don't know what leading is. Oh, hello. Decimator faculty. Let's try not to blow up the decimator for such this time and see if I can capture him again. Damn it, man, I'm a boat driver, not a leader. Oh, I bumped the camera, but I don't think it did too much. No. Can't wait to do multiplayer when I finally don't have to deal with this sh fucking camera. But multiplayer should be coming very soon. There's probably only like one more session after this. That's gonna be... That depends on how long this takes. One or two more sessions. To finish everything. But then after that, we should be done and on to multiplayer. Which will not be every faction, but I'll go into that more when I, uh... When we actually start multiplayer. What is this? This must be something. What? Look at this huge area. There's fucking nothing. Right, let's land Severance in the droid, but not actually have them engage that turret that might kill them. Okay. Wow, they don't have any sight range at all. Oh my god, I thought Severance and the Detroit were under attack. I was like... <gasps> but no. We're good. We're good. Kill that Wookiee. <laughs> and he, he just did, got defeated. That was his last Wookiee. <laughs> so bring them to the Decimator facility. Well, that's them. Hey, they have sound effects like that. <laughs> Machina Dera Dera I'm annoying the viewers again because I love torturing them because their lives are hard. Yeah. Wait, what? Severus? Don't attack the facility, you idiot. First of all, you have a lightsaber, and that's a building. That doesn't work. You go clean up that, that Wookiee outpost. Destroy the... Okay, so I need to destroy the facilities after I get the codes, but I don't know if I've gotten the codes. I mean, the game isn't saying, hey, you got the codes, so... I'm gonna give it a second. I hear your scroll wheel going nuts. You would be right. Alright, it must be time to destroy the decimators. Five Simons to really obliterate it. And if this doesn't work, I'm just gonna Simon says. Or, uh, okay, I won. Or I, I should have said I was gonna Skywalker. You are exceeding my expectations, General. Now is the time for us to strike the Republic where they least expect. Where do they least expect? Tell me, almighty Duke. Into the grind. I'm pleased grid. to inform you that our plan is reaching fruition. Oh, Grid. Our target is the volcanic world of Sarapin. As you may know, Sarapin provides the core worlds of the Republic with more than 80% of their power. How does that work? However, there is one last obstacle standing in our way. A defensive grid that surrounds the energy world. I don't understand. General Tan is en route with an elite task force. With the help of Confederacy cruisers, we should be able to penetrate this maze and clear How the way How is this going to work? This invasion. is space combat. Whoa, we're doing a space mission. Powerful shield. Count Duke supply General Town with a force of air cruisers. Destroy the power relay. At least one transport. Destroy the asteroid supply depots. The outer grid is littered. Supply depot. Oh, so you can build a base, though, made of small asteroids. Welcome to the Sarapin system, Severance. 
You now stand before one of the most heavily guarded planets in the galaxy. You must first navigate the missile turret array surrounding asteroid 426. Many Republic fighter squadrons are stationed here to protect the defense grid. Oh my god, just kill it. Oh, hello. Whoa. So the Republic fighters are laddies. Okay. Interesting. I don't know if I would have gone with that choice. No, not Siso says. Simon says. <laughs> oh, wow. It's a, I should leave these Simons alive. We definitely are going to need them as, like, an air defense. Look at this. One of them is just fighting like crazy. No, not Scion says. <laughs> Scion says die. Confirmed. Darth Scion in, in Star Wars Galactic Battlegrounds 2. Imagine if that was real. That'd be fucking insane. Yeah. Oh my god. Just send some fighters. What the fuck are these sound effects? The origin ocean stuff, I imagine. Yo, did you see that juke? That was beautiful. Yeah. Uh -oh. oh my god, that's not a juke! Yeah. Simon, what the f- Shoot it! Simon, what the fuck, man? Holy shit, that almost turned really bad. Where the fuck am I supposed to go? Just keep going north. Right to the... Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Timpedia. Welcome back to Let's Play Star Wars Galactic Battlegrounds. I know I just did the intro a little while ago and you're wondering what's going on. Well, apparently, uh, after me and Nick finished recording the rest of the Confederacy campaign, the game just decided that it wanted to... Uh, randomly just stop recording. There's a supply depot on the near side of oh. asteroid 426. And if you hear thunder, you will find a small cache <laughs> it's because it's thunder. There. It's There's Many heavy rain here right now. But, um... The Republic will no doubt have the power relay defended by enemy troopers and the like. We shall proceed. Alright, anyway, so now that the cutscene's done, um... <clears throat> So basically the game for some reason decided not to record the remainder of this mission and the cutscene, then the next mission, and the cutscene after that. I don't know why. My hard drive was not full. Uh, I didn't pause recording or anything. It just cuts off. So now you know the rest of the story. Oh my god, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. So yeah, we just gotta, so it's the next day, and we just gotta really quick take care of this. Now why is that animal nursery not captured? It's kind of weird. Everything else was. Oh my god, these turrets. Oh yeah, and Tim, yeah. you wouldn't mind if I did a let's play of this game for the Timpire channel, Not at you? all, it's a hassle enough to play, so if you want to deal with editing it, that's... You are free to do it. Just be warned that it is really annoying to edit. Because okay. every single time, I think I showed you this, um, and I've ex I think I even explained it in the Let's Play. Every single time the game cuts between cutscene mode and game mode, it creates a new file because it's not because the game is literally closing itself and reopening itself. Yeah. Um, so, and the black space between each video is inconsistent in size so you basically have to resync the audio and the video at the same time now if you went with the original way i was doing this which was just to use fraps for everything that means you have to get a damn good audio balance in, at the very first shot uh you basically have to line up the uh like audio levels of you whoever you have, if you have anyone talking with you, and the game really, really well, which is why I've stopped doing that. Because it just tends to not work perfectly. Can't go back and okay. fix things, so... So 
So I mean, I, I so I basically have to sync up my audacity and my uh, fraps every time the game switches between mission mode and cutscene mode. So yeah, that's why this is a hassle. Okay. Those of you who ever want to do your own, let's play this. And DX Tori doesn't work with it. Fraps only. Uh, so yeah, overall, <laughs> not a fun editing experience. And there is a crap load of stuff. Oh, let's see if it happens again. Are they gonna do it? Last time this Simon died. Yep. Oh, he's gonna die. Oh. <laughs> I wonder if this one's gonna get killed. I just very intentionally sent him into the meat grinder. There's a Jedi Master there. Oh, he just died. Oh, I don't know. He's he's starting to kill him. Well, these Simons are clearing out this whole base. Yeah, this is where you're supposed to build your own base up. Uh, you don't have a huge army, but you got some workers, repeater troopers. And a bounty hunter. You don't actually have Severance. Actually, you do, but she's... She's in bird mode. By bird mode, I mean she's on her ship. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I actually missed something that I f showed last time. Uh, over here somewhere. Yeah, here it is. This is actually where the Republic Space Force comes from. So this is their territory, so clear them out too. That's our objective right there, is that building. And we're probably going to win before we kill the Space Force off, but... Anything else over here? Oh yeah, there's some stuff down here. That the Simons can spend some time with. Oh wait, yeah, there's still all these defenders for the Simons to kill. This Simon's not going to die, but he's taking some hits. Yeah, this is the only time I've ever lost a Simon, including the next mission, which is much easier than this one, actually, I'd say. Well... I don't know about much easier, but it's definitely not... There's not. There's no enormous concentration of troops, really, as far as I can tell. <laughs> you know what? This will actually be easier editing, though, because we're not going to fail the next mission like we did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I accidentally failed the last mission. I didn't realize there's buildings that you're supposed to keep alive at the very end. And um, I brought in the Death Star, and it blew it up. <laughs> so I lost. Oh. What? That means that we lost the uh, one bit where he did, where we were like, uh, there were multiple Death Stars there. Oh, we were there. talking about Palpatine and what he was, yeah. Oh, well. Eh, what can you do? Yeah. It was funny all the same, though. Yeah. And it's now... It's now lost to history. We did it! Well done, General Tan. The Force is strong with you indeed. Now there's nothing mm. to stop our invasion. I finally saw a bomber. That was the second tier bomber. Neato. Mm-hmm. Must move swiftly now, General. Gain a foothold on Serapin, and take the planet by force. It is time for my message to be delivered to the Republic. To the Republic. Always to the Republic. Serapin's fury. Message encoded to Darth Sidious. Darth Tyrannus transmitting. It's Tyrannus. My master. Shut the up. The demise of the Republic is at hand. Everything you have foreseen is coming to pass. I have done as you have instructed. Serapin is now ours for the taking. This was accomplished in no small part by Severance Tan, my lord. Severance Tan. I sensed something powerful in her. We should keep her close to us. Sense so, something powerful in her. Serapin allies before the Confederacy unprotected, but this volatile world substance so my obstacles. Dangerous lavas, the Republic Fence Forces will not give up without a fight. The main industry top all the way to the east. Destroy all Republic forces. That basically there's four uh checkpoint kind of Republic forces. We have to just take their factions out. Destroy Mount Corvus. To capture. Yeah, I didn't read that part, so I just blew everything up and the Death Star kind of fucked it. You know, have the awesome control of the decimator weapon. You already saw what that does. 
Actually, wait. Master, and are establishing a base from which to they didn't the see what the decimator <laughs> does because Very good, General. in the lost recording, the will be on full Nick informed me loss of communications with that the there is a cheat code for, for the decimator that we memory. never used. This will be a crippling blow to the Republic and critical to the advancement of our cause. So, Nick, what was that cheat code for the decimator again? Uh, galactic upheaval. Setting of Serapin Prime, Count Dooku. Oh yeah, this is a Vapad. This is what Mace Windu named his lightsaber style after this, whatever this Jello blob is. So I don't know what the fuck that's supposed to be. Uh, but yeah, that's a Vapad. I don't know if it's intimidating. Yeah. Want to know what that lightsaber style is? Watch the holocron on it. Yeah. That old show I used to do. <laughs> that maybe someday I'll bring back again. And oh yeah, watch out for these because ah, they're on fire. And they actually ran away from that. That's funny. I'm amazed the AI wasn't like, let's just keep standing here and maybe it'll go away. <laughs> maybe the fire will stop burning us alive. Yeah. Oh, hey, Republic. A-T-T-E. See, I got it right this time. So I know we're going the right way, at least. There's a drill platform collector. They have a Jedi temple up here? Jeez. There's heavy strike yeah. mech, heavy assault mech, heavy mech destroyer. Public likes to use, uh, place Jedi temples everywhere to... Turn the susceptible galaxy to the Jedi against All the freedom of the people. <laughs> gotta, gotta. All hail Sith Legion! <laughs> down with the Republic! Down with the Jedi! <laughs> but yeah, apparently, according to uh, Wikipedia, the reason why uh, Windu named his style after that weird fat pad is because um, their tentacles. Strike so quickly that they're nothing but a blur to the naked eye. I didn't realize that was special enough to get a lightsaber style, though. Apparently, it is. Pew, pew, pew. Windu must have went to Serapin and saw Vaphead and was like, "Hmm, I'm gonna make my lightsaber style after this thing." This whatever it is. The death stop Apparently. plans are not in the main computer. We are prepared to do that. So yeah. We, last time we talked about how the Emperor would be so freaked out by seeing a squadron of Death Stars. <laughs> descend over Serapin. Oh yeah, so the optional objectives are to kill the Republic forces and to kill these. There's like five of them. But be careful, they do explode when you get too close. That one didn't do it. Oh, yes, it did. <laughs> it was just super delayed. Yeah. Oh, hey, Camp 2. This isn't a moon. I love that line. Oosh! That was the entire Republic Camp 2. <laughs> it was just wiped out completely. Wipe them out. All of them. Oh, that drill's gone. It's firmly within our sights. Yelva? 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 I wonder if there's a drill over here. I don't want to miss the drills. I actually want to... Okay, it's not there. Whoops, meant to click here. I don't think I missed any drills, because I'm pretty sure the first one is right there after the first camp. This is all that's left of Camp 3. I don't know why Camp 1 has a turret over there. So yeah, they don't want you to use air units on this map. But I'm pretty sure you can build them. But you gotta like how you start at tech level 1. And you're supposed to beat all this shit from tech level 1. Like, could you imagine, Nick? This would take at least an hour to do normally. Yeah. This is fucking insanity. Bet you'd have to tech up and get the oh, other stuff. You'd have to make it to at least tech three. Yeah. I'm sure there's someone who's like, well, actually, Tim, 
If you just build a million and a half trooper recruits, you can win the mission. Yeah, okay. Actually, I doubt that, because if when we see the final base over in the east, I'm pretty sure that's not true. Yeah. Destroy all energy build platforms. So I still didn't destroy all the energy drills. Of course, how these energy drills work when they're sitting on metal platforms doesn't really make sense. So you can tell they bore down, but why not just, like, suspend them over the lava? Or is that technology too far advanced for people who can beam electricity across the galaxy? And that's something we actually talked about in the other recording, too. Um, I don't understand how that technology can exist. Like, Nick, Nick brought up a good point about, like, and I recognize that wireless power is already feasible. Like, my phone has a wireless charging capability. But there's a difference between charging my phone across a couple inches and beaming enough power from a lava world to Coruscant to power that planet. Like, that is nuts. <laughs> like, that doesn't make sense to me. I don't know. Damn. Hmm. So here's oh. Mount Corvast. No, what's up, Nick? Oh, uh, I was just looking some stuff up on Google and found an interesting picture that I'll show you after we're done with this whole thing. Oh boy. Did I not kill all the energy drills? What the hell? I, didn't, I don't think there's one over here. Is there? I don't- I don't think there's one on this. Where the heck is it? And there's no way I missed one over here. Maybe in here? Oh my god. Ah, that's where it was. Could just spawn a Death Star and insta-killed it. <laughs> Let's blow up the gates to Mount Coronet. Or Mount Corvast. Haha. <laughs> Thinking of Corellia. So Duku just says excellent work for killing the platforms. So there's an uh, a troop lander. Not an acclimator, a troop lander. So now what we need to do is we need to finish going through this base. That turret has sick range. Jordracus. Who is that? He's some kind of Jedi. Oh, he's dead. Does that name sound familiar to you, Nick? Jordracus? No, I think he was a character created specifically for this game. Okay. A Twi'lek Jedi Master. Yeah. So these are the things you're not supposed to blow up. <laughs> You're supposed to blow up this. Yeah. Mount Corvast is in ruins, and the energy stores are ours. I've also dispatched the pathetic Jedi Knight, George Rockets. George Rockets. Quite impressed, gentlemen. Proven yourself to be a most valuable asset. I'm kind of surprised they didn't make a little cutscene where they. Uh... Okay, so we won. Sweet. Severance. As my trusted general, you have proved yourself beyond measure. The capture of Sarapin will not soon be forgotten. Oh, oh shit, I didn't show the decimator. decimator facilities Next time. on the remote world of Krant. You will oversee operations there in preparation for your next assignment. Your performance has been exemplary, general. All right, so that's the end of the um, Confederacy campaign. Yeah. Um, so for now, we're going to move on to the Republic campaign, and I'm just going to show you the cutscene, hopefully successfully this time, but, uh, and then I'm going to just end it. So, until next time, I'm Mr. Peter, and I will catch you guys later. There was a great disturbance in the Force, a growing tide of change forming far beyond the Jedi Council and the spires of Coruscant. Another reused voice actor from somewhere. An war, and I could not help but wonder at the losses yet to be suffered. This is a record of one of those losses. His name was Ichu Shan John, a powerful Jedi master. That's literally not even how they pronounced Ichu's name in the first campaign with the Republic.
His Edward last Dalian. story as a Jedi Knight begins on Geonosis, a place in history that holds the end of many of our order. Wow, Windu, be more depressive. Ichu Shan Jan and his Padawan, the eager Stam Wraith, were among the many who we had sent to secure the rescue of Obi-Wan, Anakin, and Senator Padme Amidala. Padme? There's no A. But none could have foreseen the ambush. Windu, why are you so bad at this? 